This life is far too grand for us. And you might be thinking, Jackson, this life sucks. What are you talking about? Have you been living under a rock? Do you not see all the pain, the heartbreak, the, the chaos and the confusion? What are you talking about? This life is too grand for us. Are you living off in some fairy tale world? I'm not. I say this life is too grand for us because by God's strength, amidst all of the pain and heartbreak, we don't lose heart. Read with me in 2 Corinthians 4. It's a bit of a longer passage, so stick with me. In verse 7, it says, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. We're always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith according to what has been written, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and so we also speak knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that as grace extends to more and more people, it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. I see all of the pain and the heartbreak and the chaos and confusion, and I know it's hard. There's days where the weight of life feels like it's just too much to continue but we don't lose heart. In the days where we are afflicted, we're perplexed, we're persecuted and struck down, we hold fast to the fact that we are not crushed, we are not driven to despair, we are not forsaken, and we are not destroyed. We carry around the death of Jesus with us so that we also might carry around the life of Jesus with us. Every day we feel those effects of our outer self being wasted away. It gets harder and harder to go on, but also our inner self is being renewed by Christ day by day. So we may be getting weaker in our physical bodies and our outward self, but we get stronger day by day by holding fast to God. And when the weight of life feels like just too much, when all of the pain, the heartbreak, the chaos, when it all just weighs down on us and we feel like we can't take another step, the weight of glory is beyond all comparison. The weight and grandeur of that glory of God that we get to experience one day in full, it's beyond comparison. Today we see in part how God is working in our lives. One day we get to see him in full and worship him, and that's beyond all comparison. All of the weight we feel now, all of the weight that crushes us and, and it brings us down now, it is nothing compared to the weight of glory that we'll see one day in heaven when we all get together and we worship God for eternity. So I have one question for you. How are you going to look to the things that are unseen this week? Rather than focusing on all of the chaos around, how are you going to focus on the things that are unseen, the work that God is doing? If you don't know where to begin, if you don't know how to look for that, ask us, let us know in the comments. We would love to have that conversation with you. We would love to encourage you, and we'd love to continue walking along on this journey with you as we all look forward to that weight of glory that is beyond all comparison.